All right, so waited quite a long time and I finally got, today I got my X5 Mini version three from Aztec. So I'm gonna open that up. So this is the shipping manifest. And the options that I got with mine, I'm gonna pull this back, but uh, the options I got with mine were, I had the soldered connectors, I didn't think I had a choice on that. I got a four gigabyte SD card just because I didn't have one, a micro SD. I went with the 5984s, a little less current than the 8825s, but uh, sounds like they're a little smoother too. And I got the the Vicky LCD Mini with a 30 inch cable, so I got the Mini. So I'm really excited to get this thing opened up. So it looks like it comes packaged a uh, in a pretty thick plastic bag. Okay, so first of all, I want to look at the LCD screen. We'll take a look at this. This is the mini, uh, the Vicky mini LCD. And you can see the 30 inch cable that comes with it. Unlike the one that uh, use, they usually use on ramps, it's only one, one ribbon cable rather than two, it appears. I just can't wait to get this thing running. It's really small, compact SD card slot on the back of it. So you can plug that in there. Okay, moving on. Uh, not a whole lot, nothing to see here. Move on. SD card or micro SD card. All right, so here are the SD5984 stepper drivers. And uh, they've also, it looks like, it appears that they come with a set of heat sinks. Let's take a look at these. Uh, let's remove the drivers out of here. So if you're used to the uh, good old A4988s or DRV 8825s, these are gonna be a lot different. They do, you can see they do have a trim pot adjustment here, but there's also extra pins on here that other stepper driver, uh, these drivers don't have. Let's see if we can find them. See these extra two pins? This actually allows, and this is one of the main reasons I bought this board, is it allows you to set that digitally. So you don't have to guess at like, oh, should I turn it a little less or more on current? These two pins allow the board itself through configuration settings you can uh, actually control the exact current and put in a decimal number. That way you can be sure, uh, for example, on a Delta Tower, a lot of times, you know, it makes sense to have all, all three of the X, Y, and Z towers going at the same current exactly. So you can, you can adjust these a lot easier without any guesswork. Let's look at these uh, big heavy duty heat sinks. Much bigger than you're gonna see on the 4988s stepper drivers that a lot of people are using for wet wrap. It's kind of an interesting configuration. Looks like it has a tape, thermal uh, tape pre-installed, ready to go, just peel it off and stick it on. And so you're gonna get four of those for one for each of your drivers. And important to note that uh, it's, it's, this, is a, this board supports four drivers, so probably not gonna have a, a whole lot of luck trying to run a dual extruder off this, unless you get some sort of expansion system going. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, the main show here. What we're it's kind of what we what everybody wants to see probably. And this is the Aztec X5 Mini 32-bit controller version three. So let's take a look here. Obviously, it's going to come with some jumpers, so it looks like there might be some jumper work to do on this thing. Let's take a look at this board. Pretty sweet. Already you can you can just just having this here in front of me, you can tell the difference in the quality of this and a lot of the um, for example, I've had a lot of experience, some bad, some good with the uh, RepRap Arduino Mega Palulu Shield from China, the ramps from China. 
already you can tell this has a lot, it's a, it's a much more quality board and it's a lot smaller. I mean, ramps is significantly larger than this and you can just tell that, um, not so much in that, but look at, ramps would have a whole nother board underneath here. So ramps is, is gonna be, have a, have a much uh, bigger vertical size than this is. You can see that, um, if you can envision this, just look at the RG, RG45 connector port here uh, for ethernet. Couple of buttons on the side here. Let's go let you take a look. Oh, and one, one thing else that's cool is that you don't have no more of those stupid blade fuses on ramps that are actually not, they're not even the correct thing you should be using for that current load and level, from what I understand. You actually have a replaceable little uh, mini blade fuse here. Little, uh, looks like a 20 amp fuse. So obviously this is going to run, this fuse is going to probably have to cover everything, heated bed, motors, and everything. It probably all runs to that same fuse, whereas in ramps it's actually split between a couple of different fuses. Take a look at the connectors on this end if you want to see that. You'll notice that the capacitors are rated at 35 volts. <clears throat> this board, from what I understand of it, uh, as far as I can tell, run can run 12 or 24 volt. Um, you wouldn't want to go much much higher than that because with these capacitors you want some headroom above the voltage you're going to run so that's why these are 35 and that's probably why they're saying hey you know with this board you want to stick with 24 volts or lower 24 or 12 probably so I'll let you have one more look at uh, everything here hey I want to thank you guys for watching this video I don't really do unboxing videos usually but I just bought a bunch of cool stuff and I know that I would have liked to seen this before I ordered this, uh, so hopefully this helps. Comment and like it if you like it. If not, leave me some constructive criticism, and uh, I'll try to make them better in the future. Uh, aside from that, man, have fun printing, and uh, have, have a great day.